Okay, so now we're going to move into the Lime section. Um, but the first thing that we want to do is really um, understand what uh, predictions that we're making and how those tie into actually explaining those predictions with Lime. So the bulk of this first initial um, section is really going to be working with predictions. So the first thing I want to do is um, go through, we, we have this new section here called Lime, and you can see that it's up here. Um, so make sure you create that. And then I'm going to do 3.1, uh, which is going to be uh, making predictions. Okay, so let's make some predictions. And this doesn't actually involve Lime. This is uh, actually more of an H2O step. But what it does is we can view the predictions and see where um, the predictions are, are uh a high risk or high percentage. So uh, we can make some predictions using uh, taking our auto ML leader, passing it to h2o.predict. With the new data equal to as h2o test underscore tibble. And let's just see what this outputs. Okay, so you can see that it outputs the predictions, and um, you can see that it's also not in a tidy format. So let's do that. Let's um, next send this to the as tibble function, and then um, what we can do is we can see now which predictions are uh, predicting yes and no, and uh, we can see that this fifth, fifth observation is has a high percentage. So um, Let's, let's kind of focus in on this fifth observation since this has a high probability or a high risk of turnover and the, um, the model is actually predicting this person to turn over. Um, what we want to do first is get a little bit more information about this, this person. So let's um, use the bind calls function and bind it with the test table information um, and we can select just the attrition so we can find out what actually happened and the employee number so we know a little bit more information about the employee. Okay, so send this to the uh, console. And now you can see that we have attrition and employee number. So we can see that this fifth person did indeed turn over and this is the employee number so if we wanted to look up any information about this employee we would be able to, to, to find that in the test table. Let's save this as predictions underscore tibble and then just to make sure that the predictions were saved we'll output it to the, to the screen. Okay, Sending that to the console we can see our predictions tibble were saved. So next thing, let's let's investigate in the test table uh, what um, information we can find out about this fifth person. So we can do that using the test table and the slice command, and just putting the row number, which is the fifth row. So that this will slice the fifth person from the test table, and then we can use the glimpse function just to investigate this person a little bit more closely. So when we do that, these are all of the features from the test table and we can see um, a little bit more information about this person and we can start to make some assumption as to you know why he may he or she may have uh, turned over. Um, the first one is age so maybe age um, although uh, age being 43, doesn't necessarily um, normally it's the younger people that are are turning over um, attrition is yes so we we know that is the case from um, when we when we bind it to our predictions this person is traveling frequently which we know that that can be a, an issue um, and we can go down through the rest of the list and see that there is you know possibly some things here that both support and contradict uh, the um, fact that he turned over. 
um, this is just the information, but what if we want to know exactly why that person turned over? Well, that's what Lime helps us do. For a single specific person or observation, it helps us determine exactly why um, the model is selecting either you know high percentage of, of uh, turnover or low percentage.